Hey, Volley Truthers, this is Coach Johns with the Volley Truth. We're gonna do something a little different for the next few weeks. We are going to bring you a little mini series. I have been asked to do something on stats. Since stats can be a daunting task for most, including me, I'm going to break these into small mini series so that maybe we can help each other out and learn together. You know, the I do, we do, you do method. So there will be six episodes covering attacking, setting, serving, passing, defense, and blocking. I'm going to try, but do not hold me to it, to throw in some definitions, some outcomes, stat specifics, and possible pitfalls and common misconceptions. Now, before we get into this, let's establish one thing off the bat. Volleyball is one of the hardest sports to keep stats for. Why? Well, because the game is just so darn fast. It's hard to keep up with the ball, let alone a stat. They say when keeping volleyball stats, it's best to follow the golden rule, which is to relax. Well, that's a word that doesn't even register in my vocabulary. So this is why statting is one of my weak areas. But look, I'm, I'm gonna try. So just stay tuned and let's try to enjoy this ride together. But I am not gonna leave any guarantees to this. So just bear with me. the plate please on the passing stats volley truthers let's get to dissecting the passing stats everyone wants to hit 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 but if you've been following me long enough you know that this game is getting to the point where if you can't pass then you will not be able to stay on the floor so let's stat the pass Let's start by defining exactly what passing is. Passing is the initial contact after the serve, also called the first contact. Something to remember here is that for every serve, there must be a serve reception attempt. Here are two outcomes from passing, reception attempts or reception errors. So it's either you do pass or you don't pass, period. Now, what is a reception attempt? Well, whichever player receives the serve or first contact receives the credit for the attempt. So this is something we have to really be watching for, especially when there are two players going for the exact same served ball, which happens ever so often. Whichever player touches the ball first is the player that receives the credit. So now what is a reception error? When a serve results in a point for the other team, a player of that team must be charged with the reception error. Here are two types of reception errors. First, there are individual players reception errors. These are one when a serve hits the floor in the area of a player. And two, when a player actually calls for the reception violation. Two-handed passes are becoming more and more common on serve, receive, and receipt of hard-driven balls. If the ball is held for a prolonged period of time, that would be an illegal hit and should always be called. Then there are the team reception errors. Yes, there are team reception errors. So they really do exist. And here are two types of team reception errors. One, when a serve falls between two players, and we've all seen that. And then two, when the receiving team is out of rotation. The beginning of each rally when the ball is served. That's when overlap rules come into play. 
No players can overlap with players directly in front or behind them, or directly to the left or right of them. Here are your forget-me-nots. Anytime there is a service ace, there must be a reception error. And a reception error must be charged to a player or to the team. In wrapping up this mini-series on passing, it is very important for coaches and players to understand that knowing which player was closest to the ball when it landed might be one of the hardest calls to make in volleyball. So if you are not 100% sure which player to give the reception error to, then do the safest thing and just give it to the team. I promise no one will be none the wiser. You'll be fine. Now, be safe out there in these volleyball streets. And if the stats get too hard, just remember to cheer and leave the heavy lifting to the pros. I do. That's all for now, but if you like the content, leave a comment below, spike the like button, and subscribe to my channel.